Good evening, everybody. My name is Bob Moretti. <clears throat> Surviving Sports Picks, uh, SSP for short to some. I uh, just wanted to come on tonight, um, getting a little bit closer to maybe getting some sports back, and just wanted to take a minute to review some of my work from the past. Um, since sports has been down, I've uh, tried to get on some social media platforms and uh, Facebook, um, YouTube here. I have always been on Instagram, was on Twitter, but never really put a lot of work up on there. But um, yeah, so with sports maybe right around the corner, don't know, could be a second wave coming. So, but without content, we're all, we're, we're all, uh, we're all hurting. But um, when it comes back, I just want to say that uh, I got a gift and there's not too many better. I don't know how many of you guys have been listening to me for the last couple months that sports has been black, but uh, I'm good at what I do and I win. And I don't know how many of you guys have seen me and plan on maybe coming my way, but I win. I win at a 60 to 65% uh, um, uh, rate uh, day to day, week to week, month to month, season to season into the playoffs and until there's a championship. And I've called many championships and I've called many playoff, big playoff games, and I win day to day. Um, I, have, I have a four tier Patreon. Um, uh, it's simply uh, Googling surviving sports picks and um, it will, it'll come up. I have a four tier Patreon. I have a $5 tier, a $10 tier. I have a $15 tier and a $25 tier. The $5 tier consists of my basic picks for the day. Um, my $10 tier is those basic picks for the day. And um, uh, my best dogs and my best parlays. Um, my $15 tier is what I call my max plays. Uh, you get the max plays. You get the... Um, basic picks for the day, you get my best dogs and my best parlays. My $25 tier, which is all my work, my, it's my top tier, um, is my locks plays. And um, you get the locks plays, the max plays, the basic picks of the day, and you get the um, best dogs and the best parlays. And I'm going to tell you right now, I give out a lot of work. I'm at this full time. I don't just throw out random games. Um, I'm a sports capper, man. I'm a guy with a pair of bifocals, a pen and a pencil, and I don't have all the bells and whistles. But the bottom line is at the end of the day, it's what's in your pocket and that, in that knot in your pocket and, in, and, and with that double rubber band. I've said many times that I'm not a thousand dollar a night guy, but I do play and I'm good at what I do. Um, and uh, so um, included with all those tiers, all tiers will get my golf and they'll get my horses. So that the horses and the golf is included with every tier. Five is locked out of any tier above them. They can only see five, unfortunately. 10, same thing above, they get 10 and five. And 15 gets 15, 10 and five, and 25 gets everything down to five. And everybody gets the horses and the golf. I put out a lot of work. And the other big perk is I'm available day in and day out into the evening. So you could private message me. I have a Discord. You could ask for the link. We have guys over there for my Patreon. Some aren't on the Patreon. You're more than welcome there. And then guys reach out to me privately over there. And they bounce off me games they're thinking about for the night after they see my posting, which is a, like clockwork. I had to miss one day from um, late, or, uh, late April of 19. Um... Uh, all the way until sports went black. Uh, prior to um, sports going black, about two months before I, I said to you, I, like I said, I wasn't doing much on Twitter, but I started to give out free picks. about Because I don't forget anybody, man. I know money's tight. And I understand, you know, with, with, with the virus going on right now and times being tough, money's tight. Children, food, loss of jobs, bills, and so on and so forth. So I, I feel my prices are fair. I give out a lot of work and there's a tier for every player. We all have a certain amount of money where we're able to spend each night and it's tight. And um, 
guys reach out to me and they only have $15 for a parlay and I take time to uh, give them 100% effort of what I'm thinking with the games I pick and what they're thinking. I get to know you and your sports capping abilities and, and, and your sports knowledge and, and the games that you're thinking about for that night. And we, we go over it for a period of time there and uh, we put together a nice little card for you for the evening. But ultimately you gotta make your own picks. And um, if you pay attention to me for a period of time, day in and day out, and see the way I operate, I've said it before. There's no reason why some months these this is you know this the, the, you can't win between three and five hundred, eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month. Some months eight hundred, some months three hundred, some months five hundred, some good months a thousand. You know, and there could be a couple months where you know you just made a couple hundred bucks or you break even, but. Um, I'm telling you, I, I, I just about guarantee it. So I give out a lot of work. I spend a lot of time at what I do, and um, I'm good at what I do. I played at a high level. I'm from New York. My father was bringing me to Madison Square Garden when I was up to his knee. Knicks, Rangers, um, Yankee, old Yankee Stadium, Yanks, uh, Shea Stadium, Mets, Islanders, Devils, Tri-State area, uh, Jersey Nets, Brooklyn now, and I've been around a long time. I learned how to hit off a, a shaved tennis ball, off a stick ball bat, spraying the, the, the plate, spraying the bags on the street, and um, pink ball deans, and I had a shot to play in the NFL and uh, Major League Baseball, and I say it's a story for the day. The good Lord just didn't want it, and I'm okay with that. It's a long time ago. And I'm 56 now, so I'm old school. I certainly understand that there's a generation gap here. I, I do my best to try to come and meet the young bucks halfway. And um, I have a 25 year old son, so I get it. And um, I'm just a different animal. It's just, I, I try to give an example and I'm not a prodigy, but if you're watching 60 Minutes and Mike Wallace from the old days is interviewing a prodigy pianist, a young gal or, or a young fella, and Mike Wallace asks, asks that child, and her fingers are out front or his fingers are out front, and they're playing that music, or he could even be an older person, still a prodigy with what they're producing at whatever age. And he says, how do you understand this? How do you do this? How did it come to you? And the child just looks up at Mike Wallace and says, listen, I just, I, I can't explain it. It just comes to me. Well, that's how sports is. It's in my fiber. It's in my bones. Uh, it's, it's a gift from the Lord above. And I just have an innate ability tied in with my athleticism to see the ebb and flow of these leagues. And, and, I, and I'm honestly looking you in the eye and telling you, there's a lot of people out there and I'm not here to steer anybody away from anybody else. That's also not in my fiber or in my, in my character or bones to steer you away. You have all the right in the world. We have free will. And, and there's a lot of people that are capable of doing it just on their own. And I respect that. But if anybody's looking for an honest guy, which is one, of, which is an important thing, if you're looking for a capper, you got to find somebody who's honest than I am. I understand these small schools, these mid-majors in college sports. I understand these leagues. I pay attention day in and day out. I go. I have a system on what I, uh, how I go about looking at those games, those particular nights, and um, I know where the fruit lays. And there's fruit all over these leagues. Every Sunday in the NFL, there's at least one to three games every Sunday that's pure hanging fruit, and that's my locks picks. That's the, what I consider hanging fruit. And there's leagues in these leagues day in and day out, night to night, whatever leagues are being played, there's hanging fruit. But I'm telling you, the, the major hanging fruit is in college. It's in college basketball and in college football. And that's where I'm deadly. I'm deadly in all sports, but I'm, I'm on those small schools and those mid-majors. And the bookies know it's there, and I know it's there. And what you have to do is you have to give back to that book. You have to establish a rapport with that book because he'll take that away from you. Eventually, you will hit a roadblock if you don't throw back some NFL games and any of those other power leagues back to him. And so there's a lot to this, okay? A lot of my work that I've won in the past, I had Tiger Woods in the Masters back in April of 19 
All I needed to see was his body healing the year before. He was coming on. I happened to catch him play in that Ryder Cup standings tournament in August of 18, and he won it. And I looked at my son and my mother, and I said, Tiger's going to win the Masters, and he did. I personally won three grand on Tiger. I don't think there's too many guys that had him. I went on to win War of Will in the Preakness, if you remember that historical bump in the Kentucky Derby. Um, I saw, I played back the tape. This is the knowledge. I played back the tape. I saw where War of Will was at the bump and where he finished. And I took War of Will in the Preakness and I won War of Will. I had the Toronto Raptors months out. I knew it was time for new blood. I had a... I, um, when I, when I talk about things like this, obviously, I, I let you have to understand from a capper standpoint that you have to let these leagues play out. You have to let them play out day to day, month to month into the playoffs to ultimately crown a championship and a champion getting a trophy. The point is, futures are cool. I'm not a big futures guy. If there's something there you like and you want to lay a little pin money on it, that's great. But, but, but at the end of the day, you have to let these leagues play out. So getting back to um, what I was saying, um, you know, so it wasn't like I play Toronto every single night. I, I bet against them. I bet with them. I, I stay away from them certain nights, even into the playoffs. I thought it was time for new blood. I, had, I thought Houston had a shot. I let that play out. I says, nah, it's going to be Golden State. And it ended up being Toronto and Golden State, and I had, gold, I had the Toronto Raptors. There's guys out there that say they had the Toronto Raptors. I, I beg to differ. I don't think so. I don't think there was too many guys that had the Toronto Raptors. I did. Same thing happened with LSU. The knowledge, once I saw they hired that offensive coordinator uh, from the NFL um, and, the, and what the media was doing with Burroughs, um, I, we had to wait for uh, Alabama about eight weeks into the schedule. I had, I, I had LSU. They beat them. Um, we had to let the SEC play out. Tua went down with the hip injury. That was their way of easing out Alabama. There's more to this, people. And, um, you know, they eased out They eased out Tua. And was it real? Was it fake, the hip injury? Was uh, Florida going to backdoor in? Was, was Georgia? It ended up being LSU and Oklahoma. And, and I had LSU. I knew they were going to earn it by beating the last two teams for the last couple of years, Clemson and, and, and Alabama, which I had the year before, the year before, and, uh, can't quite remember. I think it was the year before when I had Clemson beating Alabama. A lot of guys had Alabama. Not too many people had Clemson. I did. So I had I had Clemson beating Ohio State. They won. And then I had uh, LSU beating Alabama, beating them both, which I said, and then ultimately beating Clemson. And I, I picked a uh, college football championship. I had the Blues in Game 7, Dog plus 150 in Boston. And I picked, an, I picked the NHL Stanley Cup. Um, so my work is proven just to go over my records when sports went black and the sports that we were playing the year before major league baseball was 728 and 467. That's 1195 games played. That's a pretty good body of work. That's 61%. Locks picks was 650, 645 and 359. Max picks was 706 and 467. College hoops was 644 and 410. NBA was 354 and 214. And I wasn't quitting. I love hockey. They win that. I think the Vegas elites win in that league. I was on it. If you go to my YouTube channel, I broke down um, the NHL, college basketball, a little bit of golf, and the NBA before sports went black. So when it comes back, you'll have a little idea if you go over there and you'll understand what I was thinking and, and add that to what you may see might have seen and would see when it comes back. and But my NHL was 286 and 263. I was beginning to climb over uh, over uh, 500 and, and have a gap there. And I would have been on it and letting it play itself out. And I will when it, when it's, when it returns with college, with NBA and, and Major League Baseball is getting started. So my point is, I don't know who's been paying attention to me since Sports has been down here on social media platforms that I'm on, Instagram and such, and Twitter. Um, I have the Patreon. You can simply Google Surviving Sports Picks. I'm able to do videos on on um, on um, 
a YouTube, but I need my phone going forward for live streams and I need a thousand subscribers. So if you want to go over and subscribe and hit the bell, it'd be greatly appreciated. Tell family and friends and uh, then I can go live and I feel that's going to be an important live uh, another format for my guys. I'm going to be a roving reporter from the casinos and the horse track, the lives, odds boards, in-game bets, the ticker, updated news for the day, East Coast, West Coast. Somebody might be having a good day and reaches out late and says, Moretti, you got a pearl. Somebody, unfortunately, might have lost one or two early and they reach out and want to resurrect their day and ask me the same question, and so I'm going to be available. So I, I think I got some interesting things going forward. My name is Bob Moretti. I'm surviving sports picks. Don't forget, I'm available day in and day out into the evening. It's a perk. Um, I'm offering a $20 package that's not on Patreon. It's the $25 tier. That would be a DM me situation with a cash app, PayPal, and or Venmo. And you'd have to trust me, which you can. I told you I didn't miss one day posting. I post between 11 and 1 Eastern Standard Time. I'm a New Yorker. And those pics will be there like clockwork. And it'll be on any social media platform that's easiest for you i like instagram i have guys that are on that not that patreon it's tough to get signed up for it's not it's simply googling surviving sports picks and picking a tier is a place for everybody i understand money's tight but i feel my prices are fair so if you want to take that 20 dollar uh, uh package and a f little five dollar savings and go the instagram route or twitter or facebook whatever one's easiest for you that's available and um, I do do that with other people on the daily. So again, my name is Bob Moretti, Surviving Sports Picks, SSP for short. I wish everybody nothing short of God's blessings. I do understand fully that um, uh, times are tough and money is tight, but I'm good at what I do. I got a gift. I pray for everybody. Um, if, you, if you have been paying attention and you think you might are interested in, in coming my way, you're not going to regret it. I'm an honest guy. I tell it like it is, and, I, and, I, and I'm good at what I do. So come see me. I hope uh, we could develop, we could develop uh, a friendship down the line, and all I could do is help and suggest, and ultimately you have to make your own picks. Peace.